So my name is Lucie Gatpai and I'm a data scientist at uh, the research section in Uppsala Monitoring Center. I've been uh, employed now for almost three years. And the poster I'm presenting uh, this year at ISOP um, is actually part of a bigger project, the Web Radar project, where one of the aims was to investigate whether social media could be used for pharmacovigilance purposes. And of course, to answer this question, we need to be able to find adverse events in social media. So that's the work I'm presenting, uh, where we developed a pipeline uh, trying to detect drugs, detect medical events, and then finding out whether the author implied a certain uh, relation between the drug and the adverse event, uh, the medical event, which then becomes uh, the adverse event. Um, so we've used uh, different techniques, um, a mix of natural language processing, but also machine learning in the form of uh, logistic regressions, uh, dictionary lookups. Yes, the conclusions of this work, uh, they were actually maybe a bit disappointing when we think about all the hype there's been around social media and the hope that everybody had for uh, harvesting this data source as, uh, for pharmacovigilance purposes. So we found that it's, it's a very difficult task to actually correctly capture and encode the drug, correctly capture and encode the, the medical events, and then also finding out whether those were adverse events relations or not. Um, so results in terms of performance of this pipeline that I just described were uh, quite disappointing. Um, in another part of the Web Radar project, we had uh, another study where uh, we take what would be the result of our pipeline, so those detected uh, AE relations, and then perform signal detection on them. And that part of the project also showed that such data sources did not give us any additional um, signals or anything that we could not get already from the spontaneous reports. So the conclusions that we have about this work is that social media might not be the place to look for now. Maybe as technology develop, as we refine the methods and um, as the data sources might uh, become more rich, more detailed, maybe this question can be reopened. But when it comes to social media and in, particularly, in particular Twitter, uh, I would say you should look elsewhere. <laughs> yes.